Hey everybody, this is Kenny Cummins here of Chilling with Kenny C, right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. I have a returning guest on the show, and a lot has happened to this individual since the last time we chat. He's still doing shows across Kentucky, Ohio, traveling, he traveling, y'all. Um, he's got a new album on the way. He's He was nominated for two Lexington Music Awards earlier this year. Um, so we're catching up with this man, Anthony Joe Hiley. He is back on the show. Hello. Hey, man. What's up? Good, man. Good to have you um, back on the show, catching up with you on some things. And uh, just and you know you got new music on the way. You actually mm -hmm. have a uh, a song out on, and we're gonna talk about that. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. Um, all so right, all right. The song is called "Running on Empty," um, and I yes, believe sir. so. It just came out on my. You released the video for it. Um, back in mm -hmm. June last month, literally a month ago, running on empty. So let's talk about this song. Talk a little bit how this song came to be and the back, the story behind this song. All right, yeah, man. Uh, so when I went on the radio for my first time back uh, around this time last year, I went on uh, Loretta Friend and Brett Nolan's radio show here in town, WRV. And uh, we were talking about different types of songs. Like, there's not a lot of songs we felt like, well, at the time, that told stories. Uh, they actually literally broke it down like stories, you know. I feel like since then, there's been a lot more that's come out. But at the time, you know, it was kind of the consensus. So I went back home, and uh, I was doing some writing. And uh, I, I kind of wrote this first little piece of it. And I decided to break it down and kind of make it three stories. And they're all based off of uh, real events that have happened in, in my life, either with friends or, or friendly acquaintances of mine, you know, just kind of from observance and putting them in a song form, dealing with the, you know, the uh, opioid uh, epidemic that we have in the country right now and everything. And just trying to use my little, my little platform to kind of shed light on it in my way and tell some of the stories that I've seen, you know. Definitely That's basically what the whole idea for it was. Uh, so I've seen the video and uh, mm -hmm. definitely one of those topics uh, that, you know, that's out there as, as, as a, uh, mm -hmm. a troubling um, top, a troubling situation that's going mm -hmm. on and, you know, needs to be addressed. And, you know, obviously you being a musician, you know, we know I, I heard a I heard a doctor say one time uh, back in like 2011, 2012, saying that you could stand in your front yard and just throw a rock in any direction and it couldn't land on somebody's yard that wasn't affected in some way by the opioid epidemic that we have or the opiate epidemic that we have and, you know, uh, over prescribing and so forth and so on. And the crime and stuff that comes out of that, man, it's just, you know, uh, the basis for most of the stories that's in that song and uh yeah it's just uh it's 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 crazy about how bad that it has gotten definitely oh, yeah, it's, yep. it's definitely gotten bad it's definitely getting more uh what's the word alarming um mm -hmm. that's going on out there so uh you have a video for it on youtube mm -hmm. um and see some of it is filmed edited by your yeah by you i actually got to uh, hire some actors for this one so i was pretty excited about that uh i didn't get to have them for the whole video but we had a good section of it where i actually got to hire local actors from here in kentucky try to uh give you know uh give a give a a, a different break into a different art form you know acting is its own art form you know and i like to find folks that are, you know local that are you know into it and uh, uh the girl who was in it um, uh, Caitlin, sorry, I couldn't remember her name off the top of my head, Caitlin, 
man, she was amazing. She came in and when she turned it on, when she turned that acting on, she went from this sweet girl to just exploding on camera, man. It was, it was wild. It, everybody clapped when she got done with her scene, man. It was great. So her and her boyfriend, Brent, man, they're both actors. And they did really well. They did really well. So you all can check out the video for it on YouTube. It's called Wanting on Empty. It is on Anthony's YouTube channel. Uh, so look that up and uh, give it a listen. And if you know somebody that is uh, affected by the situation, um, spread the word. You know, mm -hmm. spread the word, share the video. And uh, let people know, man, like there's people out there that care. There's people want you to get help, get the help uh, that you need, obviously. Mm -hmm. So uh, go check it out, Running on Empty by Anthony Hiley. So now that is your lead single off your upcoming album compared to Soul. Uh, mm -hmm. So talk about this project and then what made you name it compared to Saul? Well, my idea originally because of uh, coming from the background that I come from, um, I kind of had, you know, everybody has their ups and downs in their life, their low points they can look back on and whether or not they grew from those and so forth and so on. I thought about the, I'm not necessarily a religious person, but I thought about the story of Saul of Tarsus, you know, from from biblical perspective and uh, kind of the redemption arc kind of thing, you know, going from being this persecutor of people to be in, you know, this more or less, the, you know, the sainthood that, you know, changing his name and so forth and everything. So that was my idea originally for, for this album title to kind of reflect that and uh, more or less speak on things from an Eastern Kentucky standpoint, um, that's why the the actual title track to the song or to the album be coming out here in a, here in a couple months, and uh, it kind of leans more into the you know explaining what the album's about. About but it's uh, it's it's I just more wanted it to just kind of reflect, uh, you know, life as it is for us here in Eastern Kentucky, and, and instead of like talking about elsewhere, you know, more more focusing on our people. So, and so yeah, I try to touch on just a little bit of everything in this album. So it's not it's not just about the, uh, the 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 opioid crisis and stuff. It, it deals with other stuff too. It, it, you know, there's 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 fun songs in there too. But uh, for the most part, it's uh, yeah, it's just basically life here in Eastern Kentucky and and how I can put that to on the guitar, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, do you have a timetable for when would this album be released? Yeah, I'm hoping to have it done by early this winter. Um, I originally wanted to have it done by midsummer. Um, we had a lot more tracks we were going to put on it. I've got some other tracks that I've not released yet. I'm doing videos and stuff for them. So, uh, but all in all, it's going to be about six songs. It's going to be kind of a shorter album, but I think I can say everything I need to say in that six songs and hopefully, uh, you know, move on and get on to the next project right after that. But yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, Pretty much a shorter album that says everything it needs to say in those six songs. So, all right, compared to Soul from Anthony Hiley, is on the way. So, be on the lookout for it later this year. Uh, while you're waiting on that, go check out the lead single, Running on Empty. There's a music video for it on YouTube. Uh, yep. So, go check that out. He's got um some. A brand new merch store, which includes hats, t-shirts, etc. Yeah. Um. So get you some Anthony Holly swag on the <laughs> website, <laughs> and uh, go check that out. So obviously, man, as I pointed out in the introduction, you've been very, very busy since the first interview we did, and not only you get busy, but you stay busy. You are um, going to be booked pretty much throughout the year and mm -hmm. you're gonna be in multiple states. Uh, so talk about some of the shows you got coming up, some of the states you're going to be making your way into um, in the coming months. 
Well, I tell you, man, I've been uh, I've been all over the place here just in this past month. I've been in Ohio, West Virginia, um, you know, Indiana. I got some good connections up in Indiana, man. I love playing for those folks up there. And I, I'll say this to any musicians, man, that's listening: if you want a crowd that's going to love what you're doing, man, they love Kentucky music up in Indiana. I'm telling you, go there, check it out. I don't even think it matters the genre. They just they just love what what we kind of got going on down here. Um, I'm trying to work my way down to Nashville, uh, do some stuff down in Tennessee. I've had the opportunity a couple times now to go down and play, but it was just going to be one-off shows. I like to go in. If I go out of state, I like to go out and stay for a couple of days and play a few places and come back, you know? So, uh, that's what we're organizing right now. We're trying to get a small tour together to go outside of Kentucky, kind of go around West Virginia, Tennessee, and kind of stay out there for a little while and, you know, I've been doing that a lot anyway, just going out and doing one-off shows, but I really, uh, we're working on trying to get this tour thing together. And I'm, uh, in the process of building a band to, to be out playing. Like, that's actually what we were doing here right now. Uh, everybody's kind of sitting around here, sitting around me right now, looking at me. <laughs> so beginning of 2023, got off to a very, um, encouraging start for you um while you are doing shows you're working on music you was nominated for two lexington music awards singer songwriter category and best male vocalist uh mm -hmm. congratulations on nominations obviously what was your reaction when you found out that you was up for some lexington music awards Oh, man, I was ecstatic because, I mean, I feel like this is like a common story with a lot of folks um, that just, you know, kind of played music but never really got into the scene like that where they just they, they knew they could play or whatever. And, 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 you know, you play for your family and stuff. But it's like when you hear that, like like you, your state likes you enough to nominate you for something like that, the people out there that hear you play. And they they take the time to go in and vote. That that means the world to musicians, man. And that can really carry somebody very far just on that, you know, that alone. Uh, I didn't even need to win. I was so happy just with the nomination. You know, I was excited to get to go out, dress up, and go out and go go see everybody there. So uh, got to see you down there. I saw you go up, man. Uh, and uh, a lot of my friends was down that way, man. That night, that, that was just awesome. And it's a good thing for everybody to get together and have community with this music man that's what we need more of more community we need more inclusive community we need more everybody coming together and making this into a bigger thing because that's how it benefits everybody in my opinion so i believe that is the eighth award show for the lexington media mm -hmm. awards i've been the six of the eight awards um mm -hmm. so it's just, um, it's, it's, I, look, I enjoy it for the simple fact that it's a chance to, you know, see a lot of friends that's there, that's supporting each other, that's nominated, and, you know, some have ended up winning. Um, you know, it makes me proud as a podcaster to see mm -hmm. friends that I've interviewed get nominated, see that the work is being acknowledged uh, for what they have been able to do. Um, shout out to David McClain and to everybody that's putting the Third. award show together. Um, it takes a lot. Um, and, you know, we do have a very unique community that wants to see things like this keep going. You know, see the suits and the dresses and you know, just <laughs> yeah. fun. Um, so you know, so again, and I learned fun. about some acts. You know, I learned about some acts while I was there too that I, you know, I didn't know about. Um, uh, like the Goodwin Brothers, man. They, yeah. they, you know, them coming up there. Um, I knew, I knew of them years ago, and then seeing that they're still playing, man, and out killing it, man. They're one of the best bands in the region. They were down there that day. Um. Uh, just getting to see, you know, the house band that they had down there, man, that was playing when everybody yeah. was coming up, man. Shout out to them, man. Those guys, yeah. shoot. They played everything. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to put it all in perspective, the first award show I went to, it was 2015. 
And there was a guy by the name of Tyler Childers. He was nominated yes, and he ended up winning. I didn't even know who he was at the time. And then the years since then, he has skyrocketed um, and doing big shows, larger events. He was at the Werber Festival just a couple months ago. Big, big crowd. Yeah. Um, so, man, just guys like him coming from that award show into where he is now, it's just it's a testament of his hard work and dedication mm -hmm. and the fan base has been riding with him from the very beginning. So, uh, shout out to Tyler. Man, man. I yeah, I appreciate those people, man. It's like blazing those paths for us out here. People like him, uh, Chris Stapleton, stuff. You know, uh, we we that's the thing, man. I feel like Kentucky has been overlooked, or not not even that. It's just been unfairly classified. I feel like all throughout the '90s and stuff. Uh, I remember, you know, when I was in high school and everything, thinking like, uh, you know, you had to go elsewhere. You had to go out of Kentucky. You had to go to California. You had to go, you know, New York, stuff like that, to go out and build your name to be able to be anything. And I feel like that those people that do that, um, like Tyler Childers, Staple and stuff, they, they show that you don't have to do that. If you can't win over your home state, how are you going to win over, you know, other folks out there? So that, that's the way I kind of look at it. And so that's why I try to show love to Kentucky first and foremost. Even though I play outside the state and everything, man, Kentucky is home. This is home base, you know, and always remember to represent for the people of Kentucky, man, for real. So – I have talks with people about that and the narrative that is out there in Kentucky is that we are known for three things. We know for bourbon, we are known for horses, and we're known for college basketball. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But the music scene from what I've seen for the last eight, nine years now, it's very um, diverse. It's very um, hard working scene. There's a lot of talented musicians that's doing shows on the regular. Uh, some do once in a while and have a huge turnout. We have a very talented uh, music scene in, in the state. Central Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Western Kentucky, all over the state. And it's just a matter of people opening their eyes and ears and see what's out there instead of focusing yeah. on the quote-unquote mainstream artists of the world. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's so ta there's talent there. You know, just give them a chance and see what what they can do. Um, so um, Kentucky, we, we, anybody that lives here that's familiar with the state, with the artists like Simpson, or Childers, Stapleton, or even a Jack Harlow or Rice and Tiller and many others. Yes. Um, we've had legends like Willetta Lynn, you know, we've had um Billy Ray Cyrus even. <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> we, we we've had artists for years, you know, and people just don't think much of it. But yeah, we're here. We here. We and we ain't going nowhere in Kentucky. We, we, hey, if they looking for something different, man, Kentucky, we got different. Believe that, man. There's so many, there's a mishmash of so many different styles and stuff. And a lot of these musicians that are coming into their own now, they played other styles and stuff for a lot of their life. And so they kind of mixing all that together, man. And, you know, I hear folks say all the time that, you know, there's this, that there's something missing in the mainstream music, man. It's, it's, it, there, there are still people making great music. You just got to know where to look for it. You know, you just got to know where to look for it. And there are people putting tons of passion behind what they're doing and they're writing and they're developing their, their skill and their style. And it, they're worth paying attention to. They really are. It ain't, you know, and I'm not just talking about myself. There are so many artists out here that deserve, you know, recognition and so much more, man. They do. It's very important for everybody, man, to support independent music and local music. It's a lot of people that are just looking for that opportunity. It's looking for that push. Um, and we owe a lot to folks like you and yeah. stuff, man, that's out here doing the legwork to keep, you know, stuff like, you know, to get to to do to do these press things like this and stuff like Loretta is doing and everything up with WRV and everything. Um, I feel like uh, 
it's it's kind of like a rite of passage, man, to come on uh, the Kenny Cummings show or to go on like Loretta Friend or any of them, man. It's like a thing. You just kind of got to do it if you're a musician, man. That's your rite of passage right there, in my opinion. So I appreciate what y'all doing, too, for real. So, you know, shout out to Loretta, obviously. Shout out to um, to Renee as well. Mm -hmm. Renee and Warren, they do a fantastic job with overtones. Um, very, very proud of them both. Uh, so there's a lot of talent out there, a lot of good music is out there. Uh, so everybody just keeps supporting that local music and that independent music. Uh, and uh, they truly appreciate it. Just got to keep pushing and uh, just keep doing what we got to do to get get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So that's for the fourth down, too. Yep. Um, so check out Anthony, man. Um, check out this album. Compared to Saul, it's coming. Uh, check out the lead single, Running on Empty. Check out the video for it on YouTube uh, right now. Um, so uh, check that out. Uh, Anthony, great having you back on the show, brother. And uh, yeah, one man. of these days, I'm going to see you perform in person. One awesome, days, man. We're going to cross paths. I don't know when. I will look at your schedule. I know you're in Kentucky, yep. around these parks, obviously, but we're going to cross paths one of these days. Um, Bet. So, I'll have you a shirt. I'll have you a shirt. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate <laughs> that, bro. Uh, you take it easy, man. You enjoy your night. Thanks again. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on, man. All right. Have a good night. You too, bro. All right. All right. That was Anthony. Joe Hyde.